Hey TCPS friends, today we're going to be learning how to draw a llama. This project is intended for 3rd through 5th grade, but anybody is welcome to follow along. You will need a pencil, a sharpie, or a black marker if you don't have one, something to color with, and just a piece of white paper. Okay, to start your llama project, you will want your paper up and down, tall and skinny, vertical. And we're going to start out by kind of drawing a cross in the center of our page. Um, if you have a tendency to draw really heavy, um, make sure you draw your lines super light. Like I'm not even sure if you can see this on your guys' screen because I'm drawing it super lightly. But this is just a guideline so it, it can help you draw. Um, you can also fold your paper into fours that way to kind of help you out with this. I'm just gonna draw super lightly for this. And the reason for this is it, it's a really nice guide to help get your proportions correct when drawing the llama. So to start out, you're gonna wanna be in the bottom left-hand quadrant, quadrant and you're gonna draw a slightly curved in line and then it's going to pick up like that. So this kind of looks like a backwards J. So that's kind of the shape that you want to get. And then you're going to draw a slightly curved horizontal line to the center. So that's going to be your first step. Then you're going to want to come to the bottom right hand quadrant and do the same thing but backwards. So slightly curved in line. If you want to try and get them the same size, you can draw a line like this very lightly just to make sure they're at the same length. And then that's going to curve in this way now. This will be his belly. And then you'll want to match that line just like this. So that's your first step to your llama. Then you're gonna to come to your upper left-hand quadrant and continue this line up just a little bit, about an inch, and then you're gonna round it. So don't make it a sharp edge. You want it to be a rounded edge going pretty much straight to your little guideline or your fold. Then you're going to come up in your upper right hand quadrant and you're going to extend that line a little bit up and then you're going to extend this line a little bit in like this. So this is kind of a tricky step. This is going to be his head. So draw really lightly when drawing his head because if you mess up the first time, that is totally fine because you can just erase it and try it again. So, I'm going to start by, so I've got this little bit of line here and a little bit of line here. I'm going to continue this line as far as I want it up, and then I'm going to kind of curve it out like this. So what this is going to be is his chin, and this is kind of his neck area. And then from here where I've curved it out, I'm going to make a, a J. So if you want, you can turn your paper upside down to do this. Sometimes working upside down will help you get the shape a little bit better. So again, this is going to be his head. And then I'm just going to carry this down and then connect these two. So this is about the shape that you want to begin your llama. Now from here, he's going to need some legs. So this is like the fur, the like thigh of his legs. Then he needs like the calf part. So just kind of draw, it's kind of like the bottom of a baseball bat. So it's kind of straight and then it's got like a little bottom to it. 
Kind of looks like a turkey leg. <laughs> and then he needs his back leg. So what I did is I mimicked this shape and I repeated it right here. And I'm gonna add his little, his little turkey leg. He looks kind of funky, but llamas do look funky. So it's all kind of fun and games. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna get the little baseball bat so it's straight and then it's got a little knob at the end. And then he needs this mimicked back leg. Um, so to make it look like he has four legs, we drew these beginning two and then the one on the left quadrant went to the right. And you're gonna do the same over here. So you're gonna kind of, this one's gonna be kind of tricky. You're gonna follow this line down, but kind of make it straight. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's just a tiny little offshoot, just to kind of continue the look of his legs. Now from here, you can get his facial details so they've got like this snout area and he's got his eyes. You can draw his eyes however you'd like. You can draw one big open eye. You can draw him one little eye. You can draw him however you'd like. I think I'm gonna draw mine kind of with the closed eye. So a closed eye is just kind of a curved line. And then I'll make mine a little girly. Give her some eyelashes. And then um, she needs her ears. The ears are kind of, um, what's that like? It's kind of like a fingertip. That's kind of weird. And then, so there's one on that side, and then one on this side. So if you notice what I did, I put, to show that, like, that her head is round, I put one down inside the head, and then I erased the line behind it. So I've kind of got one in front of this headline, and then I've got one behind this headline. And this will kind of help it look um, realistic. I'm going to give her a little, a little nose and maybe a little mouth. So she's got a little nose, a little mouth, and this is her so far. Then her last like body part she actually needs is her tail, which is pretty similar to her ears but instead of a like a cutoff point for the ear it comes to a point kind of like a flower petal so this is the main body of our llama so from here you can go ahead and erase your guideline and then you're going to be able to decorate your llama so um you can give them a little rug coat you can draw them in some grass outside whatever you'd like so that's what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna add some details to my llama Once you have all the details drawn on your llama that you would like, it is time to outline your drawing. Uh, I always like to use a Sharpie to outline, but if you don't have a Sharpie at home or if you're not allowed to use a Sharpie at home, you can easily use a black marker or a black colored pencil or a black crayon, just something that's kind of darker to outline everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now.
Don't forget to erase your pencil lines. Now it is time to color in your llama. I'm going to be using markers, but you are more than welcome to use whatever you have at home to color it in. Once you guys have colored in your llama, you are all done.